All right, so we traveled yesterday. This morning, I get up to make coffee, flip the stove open. Now I took the grate out, but this is what I found. Our burner is just in there loose. And this one's actually starting to come loose right here. So I unscrewed the stove. We're gonna pop this up. I found one of these screws over the last, I don't know, maybe it was a month or two months ago, something along those lines. It was on the floor. We had no clue what it came from. Um, everything was functioning, working properly. So next thing I notice is I find the same screw this morning. And now I figured out, obviously it goes to the stove portion here, the cooktop. So we're gonna get this fixed today and uh, I'm gonna show you guys the details on this just in case it's something to look for depending on how many miles you put on your uh, Taximantis. Um, you may need to kind of take a peek and, and get it adjusted, get it fixed so that it doesn't fall off and you don't end up in our situation where you throw a screw away that you had no clue where it went. So here you go. All right, so we got the stove up and this is what I want to show you. So Jax is helping out. So see these screws right here go all the way through the bottom of the burner and then they go up into the top and from what I found out they found out they, they actually hold this this top cap cover on too. So so we're gonna try to make sure this one's tight because it's a little loose. And then it looks like we're going to have to replace one bolt on here that's missing. And then we should be good. Back in business. I want to show you this. And I've kind of got it rigged up. Because you have to take this little heat shield off the bottom of it. Cut a couple zip ties for the wiring harness. And there's a couple screws. So a couple things to take it off the bottom of the stove. But look at the access you have here. I wish I would have thought about this when I was doing the inverter to get in here, but this is the access you have just by loosening two screws and flipping the stove up. So check this out right here. That is so much space. So you can access, these are all your heater tubes right here, um, heat duct venting. There's a junction block to access back there and then there you can see <laughs> you can see my inverters right down here which you know accessing anything I need to do would be a whole lot easier so there's just two screws one on this side one on the other side I've kind of rigged the heat shield here to prop everything up for me but a lot of access there versus trying to go through the panels here a lot harder so if you ever uh you know seen my videos or, or doing the same install with the inverter the way i did it uh man pull the stove up 10 times easier to access some things that you need to get to all right let's keep going so i made it out to the hardware store and for reference you're going to need three sure. millimeter by 25 millimeter uh, machine screws so right there so I put the new screws in uh, I had to grab some small zip ties to zip tie the wiring in here and then this back up there's two more Phillips head screws that actually hold the plate on the bottom of the burner and that's it it's fixed so now we just gotta put it down and test it make sure it works all right, here's trial run. We're gonna give it a test, see how this thing's working. Boom. Nice. Woo, let's go! It's both working. working! Yeah, both working great. I hope this video was helpful. If anybody has any questions, please comment below.